All right, then, my friends. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the tabs components, and they look something like this. So we have different tabs at the top, and when you click on those, it shows different content down here at the bottom, and there's different variations of the tabs as well. You can see we've got these pill variations. You've got these with little borders around them. So there's a lot we can do with tabs, and we're going to place our tabs component on this profile page right here. So let's start by closing this junk down. We don't need this anymore. And then opening up the profile page right here. All right, so now we're gonna start playing around with the tabs in this component. So the way this works is that we have, first of all, a tabs component. And click on that to import it. And then inside here, we have the tab list, which is all of the tabs at the top that we click. And then we also have the tab panels, which is where we show the content for the different tabs. So let's do a tab list component first of all. And then below that, we're also going to do, let me just get this right. We need the tab panels. So click on that to import it. All right then, so before we do anything, I'd like to apply a few styles to the tabs. So I'm gonna say margin top is equal to 40 pixels. And then also we'll apply some padding to this, which is gonna be 20 pixels. All right. So now let's do the tab list. So Inside here, we have tabs, so singular, tab component. And we'll give a title of account info for this tab. And then I'm gonna duplicate this and change account info to task history. Doesn't really matter, this is just filler content. I wanna show you how the tabs work. All right, so now if we save this and come over here, we can see those two tabs right here and that default styling. Now, I don't really want to use this blue color scheme. So this is another component that we can pass in the color scheme prop to. So I can say color and then scheme and set that equal to something. And it's gonna be the purple scheme that I wanna use. So if I save that now, look at this, that looks a little bit better. Now we can also target the tabs which are selected if you like and we can style those differently. So I could come here and say underscore selected and set that equal to an object. And in here, we can specify styles to apply to this tab when it's selected. So I could say the color of the text is gonna be white, for example, and also the BG is gonna be purple. So now when this is selected, it's gonna get these styles. If I save it and preview, we can see that's a purple background. This one's still the default styles, but we get the purple background and the white text. Now I wanna make that purple a little nicer. So we'll use purple 400, save that and preview. And that looks nicer, awesome. So what I'm gonna do is grab this thing right here. In fact, I'll grab all of these and I'm gonna paste it right here like so. So we can see those, all right, looking pretty good. So I'd also like to apply a variant prop to this. And that variant is gonna be enclosed. That's just gonna make it look a little different because we have different variants for these tabs, much like we have variants for buttons. So you can see it's softened the corners now, all right? Okay, so now we need to work on the tab panels themselves. So we have all of the tab panels in here and each panel of content, tab panel, has a tab panel component. We need to import that up here, tab panel. And then inside these, we can output the content. Now the first tab panel is gonna be linked with the first tab up here and the second to the second and so forth. So the order does matter. So what I'd like to do in here is just output a list of items. Now I'm not just gonna write this out from scratch because we've already seen how to use lists. I'm gonna paste it in instead and scoot this in, but I will go through it. So we have a list component with a bit of spacing, a list item and a list icon. We've seen this before. And then the email, another list item with an icon, chat this time, and then a final one with an icon, which is a star. Now we need to import those different things. So let's go up here and let's get that right for a start. Panel. We need the list component. We need the list item component. We also need the list icon component as well. Now we also need to import some icons and I'm gonna paste that in just so you don't have to watch me type this out. So we have the chat one, the email one, and the star one that we're using at the minute. We've got these other two as well, check circle icon and warning icon. We're gonna use those for the second panel. 
But anyway, now we have this list inside this tab panel. So when we click on this, it should show this content right here in this tab panel. We're gonna save it. And you can see, we can see this content. If we click away, we don't see any content because we only have a panel associated with this tab at the minute, but we can make another one. So let's come down here and do our second tab panel like so. And inside this one, again, I'm just gonna copy and paste this from the course files. So you don't have to watch me type it all out from scratch. It's just another list. So we have a list item right here with an icon, which is check circle icon. And the color is kind of like a greeny teal. So this is a tick icon right here. This one is a tick icon. And then down here we have a warning icon, which is red instead. So we're just using different variations of the tick icon and the warning icon in this history of tasks that the user has apparently done. Okay, so let's save that and preview. And if we go to task history now, we can see that content right here, awesome. And that's pretty much it, my friends. That's how we create tabs. So we have this tabs component right here. We have a tab list for the list of tabs at the top. And um, we can use this selected prop to style the selected tabs. And then down here, we have the tab panels where each tab panel corresponds to a tab in the tab list. Easy.